What's up guys? My name is Shaden. I'm here with Mothership Vans, my new company. I have been building vans for about five years now and this is our latest piece of work. This is a 2021 4x4 170 Sprinter. It is stone gray and it has some really, really cool features in it. Up here at the front, we have an elevator bed. We have a fold down shower pan here in the aisle. We got heated floors, little pull out coffee maker there. And behind this wall here, we actually have a huge garage to be able to store all your gear. So this van was really designed for someone who values luxury living up front, being able to sleep four people, seat up to eight people when you want to have it in lounge mode. And then at the back of the van, you still have tons of room for all your gear. This is our latest work. We're really excited to show it off. Well, let's walk you through the tour. So we're out here on the outside of the van. We're going to give you a walkthrough of the entire exterior and then we'll bring you guys inside. So out here, this is what makes the van rugged, capable, protected, and also just makes it look really, really cool. Starting off on the front, this is my favorite part of the exterior. This is the backwoods front bumper with a 12,000 pound winch, 20 inch light bar, four pod lights down there. This thing is like a bull bar, so if you were to hit a deer or something driving down the road, it's just gonna protect the van. Up here we have 3M vinyl wrap on the hood and all of the lowers, so we do wrap the hood and the lowers just to kind of protect the van. We have little fender flares here from Terra Wagon. Down here we have 17 inch uh, Black Rhino Barstow rims with 275, 70, 17 tires and an agile off-road rip kit under here. So the suspension is all beefed up. It is customized for the weight of the van. Moving up to the roof rack, which is one of the coolest parts of the van. That's what houses our solar panels and our awning and all kinds of stuff like that. We have two 50 inch light bars up there. Something very unique about this van is it has about 150,000 lumens of light. We also have a Fiamma 13 foot legless awning up here. It's really sweet because you don't actually have to set out legs or anything like that. And it's also automatic. So whenever you start driving or when it gets windy or it senses vibration, the awning will just pull itself in automatically. So up on the roof rack, we have a full-time Starlink dish and you can basically switch that using the switch right next to the sink. We also have 480 watts of military grade walkable solar. It is all really high-end solar basically that can withstand hail and impact and just super rugged and durable up there. But you can also walk on it, you can do yoga. We do have a second alternator on this van as well as a DC to DC primary alternator charger. Underneath the van, we have a 48 gallon extended diesel tank. So that gives you a ton more range when you're you know on a overlanding trip or you're out there in the wild the standard tank is 25 gallons so it's about double the standard tank we have a gray water tank underneath the van about a 27 gallon gray water tank that's fully heated the entire gray system is heated and four season friendly Alrighty, so we're back here at the back of the van in the gear garage and this is a really special part of this van because you have about 80 cubic feet of storage back here so we designed the gear garage to basically give you all the functionality that you might need and make it waterproof from about a foot down so you can even have slush and things dripping in here everything is totally siliconed and sealed all the way from about a foot down so you could put electric mountain bikes we can you know do all kinds of customization in this garage back here but it's a really really cool gear garage on this layout down here we have your water fill over here we have a nice hot cold outdoor shower that you can pull out and basically just spray off gear or you can take a hot cold shower after surfing um, up here, as you can see, so we have nice coin mat all throughout the garage here, and this coin mat is totally scratch resistant. You can make sure that you can kind of throw whatever gear in here that you want, and this stuff is just super durable and scratch proof. Up here in the top section of the garage, we have some really cool features. So for example, right here, we have a trash chute. This is a little door that goes into the kitchen, and so you can throw your trash straight into the garage. That way you don't have to have any of that stuff stored on the inside of the van. Same thing over here, we have a laundry chute coming out of the closet. So that kind of goes out the back side of the closet. And the goal there being basically to get all of the messy stuff and all of the junk in the van and all of your gear into one place so that you don't have any of that kind of like in your van. Another really cool feature up here at the top is this is the vent fan. So this vent fan is split between the cab and the garage. And the cool part about having it split is that it splits the ventilation. So it kind of sucks air through the garage, through the cracks in the bottom of the doors, and then also through the front windows. So depending on you know what you have open there, but if you do have like slushy gear back here, it will still ventilate. So you're not creating like a little, you know, moldy, mildewy swamp back here. So out here at the back of the van, behind the gear garage, we do have more storage. So you can open up this Alavan ski locker. This is an optional ski locker that we do add sometimes. We also can put any other sort of boxes back here. Over here, we have your extra full-size spare mounted on the Alavan's ladder tire carrier combo. And then the cool part about this ladder tire carrier is you have these little knobs that you can screw off on the edge and then you can just climb up right here up onto your roof, which is pretty sweet. So you can get all the way up onto the roof of the van, super easy. 
So let's bring you guys into the inside of the build. That's pretty much it for the exterior. Alrighty, we are inside the van here and I'm up in the front cab area. So we have two of these swivel seats. These come from Mercedes from the factory, but they are included with all of our builds. Up here, we have your exterior lighting. So this is all controlled by your Switch Pros and those are all of your light bars. And then also funny little nitrous switch right here, which actually basically opens your gray tank when you want to dump your gray tank, but I thought that was funny. Up here, we have a uh, headliner shelf that carries all of your window inserts. So the entire front cab, as well as the rears, all come with these window inserts. These are insulated, magnetized. They fold up really nice and fit up into the headliner shelf here. And they basically go on all of the cab windows here. So even the windshield and all of these windows and fully black out the entire van so you can't see in and no light shines out. You also have a lagoon table mount right up here at the front, as well as a lagoon table mount right here. And I'd say that's pretty much everything for the cab. I'm Nate Murphy, and I have literally just bought this van to show you how to build a van. We have made a really detailed course which will help you go from this to this. You will learn everything you need. We help you specify your electrical system and you'll be able to access a community all building their own vans at the same time. Cool, so up here we are in the lounge space and this lounge is really cool. It's a flexible space. So you can seat up to eight people in here. You can have dinner parties in here, game nights. You can also use it as your office. So right here we have my MacBook connected to this studio display. This is a really cool display because it's a 5K retina display. It also has a FaceTime camera built in as well as speakers. It is on a swing arm mount, so this whole thing swings around and pivots around. The cool part about this is when it's in office mode, it works as a monitor and a display. If you wanted to, you can also use it as a TV in the corner of the lounge here. The passenger side bench is all electrical, so it's 15 kilowatt hours of battery storage. Uh, we have a 6,000 watt Ames 24 volt inverter charger in there. We have some Victron Orion step down converters that go from 24 volts to 12 volts. That is where your second alternator comes in, where your solar comes in where the DC to DC charger comes in and the shore power goes into the inverter. All of the benches and anything that needs it in the van is fully thermostatically ventilated. So that's something that a lot of people miss when they're building is they don't properly ventilate their fridge, their electrical cabinet, things like that. And then your compressors and your appliances will burn out. It's a lot of things that need to be ventilated. So this is your vent fans right here that ventilate this entire bench through the tow kick. Moving on to the driver side bench. This bench basically opens up, so you do have a, quite a bit of storage in here actually above the water tank. So you have this entire cavity up on top for storage with little removable inserts there so you can access underneath for maintenance, for plumbing, all kinds of things like that. Inside this bench you have a 60 gallon freshwater tank. It's a massive freshwater tank, about as big as we can put in a build without going overweight. Uh, we do have your DC to DC charger in this bench as well and your uh, 12 volt heater, that's a diesel heater in there, so that is an SPAR S2 diesel heater. Cool, cool part about that heater in this bench is it actually blows into the tow kick and we have the entire tow kick ventilated with little holes in it. So basically that air floods out through the tow kick and really evenly disperses across the entire van. This is all black, you know, faux leather basically. And this is a really high end material, very similar to what they use in Tesla's. Um, this is all half inch bamboo cabinetry throughout the entire build. And then we have black Fenix laminate throughout the entire build. So all premium materials, really the best that we can find at a time. That's pretty much the lounge here. Uh, this converts also into a bed. So when you want to put the van into bunk bed mode, you can bring the queen size bed halfway down and then you have another full size bed down here at the bottom. So you can sleep four people pretty comfortably. We'll show you through the kitchen here in a second and then through the bedroom. Welcome to the kitchen, closet, and bathroom. It's all kind of blended into one here. So I'll kind of start with this side and then we'll move over towards this side. So brief overview, we have a kitchen in the front, closet over here, and then a shower that folds down from the back wall here, and then a curtain that pops up out of it. So we'll show you guys all of this. Up here in the top to start, we have a microwave just flush mounted up into the overhead cabinet. This is just a really sweet microwave. Super simple, it's a microwave, nothing crazy. <laughs> but in the overhead cabinet right here, we do have uh, lighting that automatically turns on in all of your overhead cabinets, as well as nice little lips to make sure nothing slides out and locks to keep all of these doors nice and secure. But those lights do turn on and off as you open the cabinet, which is pretty cool. 
Uh, down here we have a dual induction stove. Over here we have this invisible sink. So we do have a little cover that goes in here. It's down in the drawer and that kind of covers up the sink so you don't see it. This sink faucet does fold up right here really easily. And you have a nice little soap dispenser. That all goes down uh, into your gray tank, which once again is heated. We do have a three-stage water filter on your entire sink so you can drink all of the water out of the sink and it cleans up all the water that's in your fresh water tank. Over here, we have your water pump switch. So we have three really nice little switches right here. Water pump switch, your heated gray system on the exterior of the van, and then your Starlink. So we have blue, red, and green. Down here underneath, we have your heated floor thermostat. So this is in Celsius, un unfortunately, but you can basically set the temperature of your floors to your desired temperature, and then it will just keep topping off the heat on the floors, and that's a 24 volt heated pad that goes down the entire floor. You got all your drawers, really nice organization in all of the drawers. We try to make sure everything's organized and you know, has a spot basically because when you're driving down off, you know, on a dirt road, you want to make sure nothing's flying around in the van. So we have drawers down here, these really cool little latches basically. This is the first time that we've used these, but these little latches are mechanical latches. Down here at the bottom in this cabinet, we have a really cool feature in this van. So this is an isotemp water heater. It's a seven gallon hydronic water heater. So that is connected to the coolant on the van. So when you do drive the van, you immediately start getting hot water after about 10 minutes of driving and that water stays hot for up to two to three days. Under, underneath this cabinet right here, we have your slide out living room toilet. So we basically made the bathroom not the biggest priority on this build. We really prioritized luxury living and the garage. And basically the bathroom and the shower are kind of like side uses because it's really not the most important thing for a lot of people that live in their vans. So this is a Laveo dry, dry flush toilet. It just vacuum seals all of your solid waste and liquid waste into a bag and you never have to think about it again until you grab the bag and throw it in a dumpster. It doesn't smell like anything. It's super efficient and clean. Over here we have your trash chute. So you can open this guy up right here and you can put a trash bag back there, trash can. You can even put a little chute that we have on here to make sure that that routes into your trash can at the back. And then we'll jump over to this side. So once again, we have an overhead cabinet here with all kinds of custom storage for things like your coffee cups or mugs, right? I have these really nice little mugs that I love in here. Um, I'm kind of obsessed with things like that and little aesthetics and making sure that one, nothing moves around and two, that everything's really high quality. So I like to be able to have glasses in the van, not just like plastic cups and things like that. So to do that, you have to have really nice padded storage everywhere. So over here, we have a really cool new feature that we added right here in between the upper and lower cabinets. And this is our little coffee house. So this holds a Nespresso machine, it slides out right here. And the reason it slides out is so that you can fill up the water on the back of it. But this takes all the different Nespresso pods. So you can put in espresso or coffee in here. Super easy to use. You just pop the lid open right here, put your pod in right here, make sure there's water in it. Hold your coffee cup up right here and press the button and you have a nice cup of coffee anywhere you want to go. Down here we have your fridge. This is a Dometic CRX 110S fridge freezer and pretty standard fridge freezer there. Nothing too special about it. Right here we have a pantry and wine cellar. So this basically on the bottom has custom inserts that we can cut for bottles of wine, whiskey, whatever you want. So working our way back here, we have your closet. This is a 24 inch wide closet. Could probably hold up to about 50 to 70 shirts in here. Uh, so you can have plenty of room for you and everybody who's traveling in the van. And then we also have four drawers going down towards the bottom so that everybody has their own drawer who's traveling in the van if you wanted to do it that way. And then at the bottom, we do have a big linen drawer just for extra towels and things like that. That's a deeper drawer. Up here against the ceiling, we have your Dometic air conditioner. So this is a 12 volt uh, RTX 2000 air conditioner. This thing basically just pumps out about 7,500 BTUs of ice cold air. It keeps the van nice and cool. Uh, we are switching to a cruise in comfort primarily to get everything off of the roof of the van. Back here we have the other side of your vent fan that kind of sucks the air through the entire cab across the bed so it pulls air from the two front sliding windows all the way through and there's no dead zones where there's air that's kind of stagnant so it really creates nice airflow all the way through the van over your stove when you're cooking so the steam kind of goes up here and down here steam from your shower as well will go straight up here into this vent fan. So the coolest part about this shower is that it's there when you need it and it's not there when you don't need it, which unfortunately when you do a full cavity shower, it's there when you don't need it and it takes up a huge amount of the volume in the van. So let's show you how this works. Basically, this shower folds down from the wall. It has a really nice little lock right here. So you just spin that. And this entire setup takes about 30 seconds. You just pull the shower pan down from the wall, set it against the floor. And then you basically just reach in here and grab your magnets. So there's all these little magnets in here. And these literally just lock onto the ceiling right here. And this curtain basically pops up here and it has little magnets that go inside here as well. Then you just walk in here through these magnets. 
and you're good to go. You step into your shower, pull this open right here, and you have a fully waterproof room. And you have a nice little sprayer that folds out from the wall right here. So inside here, it's kind of hard to see, but we do have this nice little sprayer, and you can basically just turn that on and off with the press of this little button right here. So super easy to use. You can see me at the top here. We are gonna kind of tighten up this curtain here a little bit, but it should look like this basically. And then when you are done, you can kind of let it dry out just for a second. This is all antimicrobial and anti-mildew, but you can grab the four corners here. Super easy. See how I just grab those, take this entire curtain, shove it into the pan, and your shower's gone. Alrighty, so up here we're going to show you the bed. This is an elevator bed and this comes down just pressing a button right here. This is a happy jack. So you basically just press the button like this and you can drop the bed down. I'll climb out of here so I don't get squished. So you could stop it right here and then you can convert the lower bed into bunk bed mode. These cushions all fold down and we have the table drops down on these little ridges as a leaf. And then you have a full size bed on the bottom and a queen size bed on the top. Or you can continue going lower and then I'm just going to show you guys super easy to hop in. Just go like that. You got your comforter up here. So I do like to kind of bundle the comforter up onto the top or you can tuck it into the edges of the bed just to make sure it's not hanging down off the sides of the happy jack. But we do have a lip around the edge that kind of captures all of the bedding. But basically throw your comforter out. You got your pillows up here, lay down and go to bed. You got your windows all the way around the front, big panoramic view, skylight against the ceiling here that you can climb out of onto your roof deck if you wanted to do some yoga. Uh, you can also just see this, the stars out of this. And then this has a really nice little insect screen that pulls across, as well as a blackout curtain that pulls across here. And then you got your screen. Once again, if we went a little lower at the bed, we could pull out our screen right here and have a nice little TV in bed with full high fidelity surround sound. Another cool feature of this bed lift is that it's fully modular and removable. So there's four bolts in the corners. And basically, if you undo those four bolts, this would take about five minutes, to be honest, for you to remove. But if you undo those four bolts and you undo two wire clips for the lights in here, about two guys could lift this bed out of the van. It doesn't weigh that much. I believe it weighs about 100 pounds. And you could lift this entire bed out of the van and suddenly you have full walking height through your entire build. So if you don't need the bed in there or you're not going on a camping trip, then you just have all the functionality and utility of this lounge space still. This van will probably be sold by the time this video comes out. But uh, basically we do have other vans throughout the year here in 2024, 2025. Basically you can reserve a build slot if you're interested in taking over a build. Uh, you're welcome to reach out to me. My email is shaden at mothershipvans.com. You can also check out our website, mothershipvans.com. Check out our tours here. We're really stoked to be on this channel, showing you guys what we can do. My YouTube channel is Shaden Valentine, so you can check that out. We do van tours and all kinds of cool new stuff with cyber trucks and things like that. And then my Instagram is at Shaden, S-H-A-I-D-E-N. And happy to try to get you into a van, or if not, at the very least, just inspire you to get out there and enjoy the open road more. <laughs> Are you thinking of building your own van, but you're worried about how complicated the process is? The bad news is it is quite complicated. The good news is we have made a super detailed online course to help you go from this to this. You will learn how to do insulation, carpentry, solar systems, everything you need. We help you specify your electrical system and you'll be able to access a community all building their own vans at the same time. It's never been easier to learn how to build your own van.